Hi, my name is Alma Hansen and I am from the city of Puebla in Mexico. And this week, my family and I, we are pondering how can studying the symbolism in Revelations help us understand how Heavenly Father speaks to us? Well, I think a great place to start is that's why God gives us symbols. Uh, we can think of all of us in this room and, and watching, uh, if we throw out a, an image, let's say a mountain, uh, mm -hmm. what can a mountain mean to people? And there are many of us that are thinking something, maybe memories, maybe temples, mm -hmm. maybe hiking, maybe uh, there's all these different paths that that one image of a mountain can take us down. Okay. And so that's one approach that John is trying to get us to go. If I give you a symbol, I'm telling you to go to God and find an interpretation that is meaningful for you. Okay. And so how, uh, and I love Alma's question is how does this help me understand how Heavenly Father speaks to us? It's I can sit and ponder and ask questions about this symbol and what does it mean to me? And that's why we're encouraged not to always be overt about, well, this is what this symbol means okay. in the scriptures. When we go to the temple, we don't emphasize what the symbol means because we don't want to rob someone of the opportunity to have the spirit teach them what it means for that individual in that moment.